Hey, hello everybody, Scott Golden with the Pro Wrestling Logic YouTube channel and the World Class Championship Wrestling Review Series. Notable program today in the February 11th version of the program, but uh, kind of for all the wrong reasons as we uh, foray into the uh, reality of the passing, the untimely passing of David Von Erich. We do see a rerun of a Jimmy Garvin match from a few weeks ago to start off the program. And that match is the, uh, the review of the match from several months ago that kicked off the next level of the Chris Matt Adams feud from October of 1983 as the, as the Avenger is, uh, d defeats... Uh, Garvin only be, to be revealed as Chris Adams. Uh, that's all the way back in October of 83, so we are, uh, what, November, December, January, almost three months later, which now in wrestling seems like a long time. Of course, back then, three months, six months, even a year didn't seem like too terribly long a time. But uh, one of the Destroyers starts off with uh, Johnny Mantel uh, to kick off the program here. And of course, the Destroyers managed by... Skandor Akbar, Akbar also still has his claws in Kamala, and very basic match here, Mantel, always good for a basic wrestling match, catches, catch, can style, arm bars, arm locks, and the like, you're not going to get him doing much more than maybe a high cross body or a drop kick, so you're not going to get, you know, uh, Japanese style classics, but you are going to get a solid match uh, with uh, primarily babyface maneuvers. Uh, short knee and punches and kicks from the Destroyers. The Destroyers, obviously, a mainstay tag team in the area in 84. One Destroyer on the outside, remaining with Akbar while the other does battle. Uh, slower style match than many people would be comfortable with, but the uh, Destroyer does manage to slip the shoulder and go right after uh, Mantel and... The Destroyers do slip in and try and cheat whenever possible. So that is there as well. Uh, long bear hug mid-match. Certainly not something that would pass today, but 1984, a rest hold, or a hold, just working a hold, more accurately, uh, a perfectly reasonable part of a match, and the crowd stays with it. So in a lot of ways, I, I miss those days, and I miss the time before I became a fan because you could do... A whole lot less, get just as much out of it. Uh, and, you know, that's valuable for the guys, after all, and the ladies. The idea of pro wrestling to make it look like it hurts, but not hurt yourself in the process. That's the idea, and I think it's an idea that, unfortunately, a lot of people lose here in the year 2020 and beyond, as we listen to this. Uh, but anyway, we move into... A victory for Mantel, and then we kind of go, uh, or a victory for one of the destroyers, actually. And uh, obviously, they are willing to cheat to get the victory. Uh, speaking of another victory for destroyer, they are hopeful of that here with uh, destroyer number two facing off against Iceman King Parsons. Parsons has had a battle. With the Destroyers for several months now. Of course, uh, the Destroyers trying to take King Parsons out of action for a good bit of time. And that is certainly not something that he wants to have happen. We see a lot of basic wrestling here. Hammerlocks into dro drop toe holes into hammerlocks and the like. Uh, the Destroyer makes his way back to his feet, but not uh, without... Uh, Parsons hanging on to the hold. The one thing I would say for Parsons is he can do two things very well, and that is get a crowd reaction and cut a promo. His wrestling is hit or miss, depending on who he's in the ring with, but he'd be a star today by, by default, uh, just because he knows how to fire up a crowd, and I think that's a lost art, too. Of course, 2020 pandemic, we don't have crowds to fire up, but the fact remains that even when we had them, sometimes it was harder to do than people thought, and uh, so that is there. Uh, we then 
moves through as the um, miss of a shoulder tackle in the corner is the next major arriving fate of Parsons. Parsons gets shoulder tackled for his trouble and also Parsons with the roll up one, two, and uh, an attempted interference, but the referee sees it. The match is allowed to continue with the attempted interference until uh, we see Akbar and friends come in. Referee stops the match there with a disqualification. Parsons gets the victory. Parsons pretty well protected. We go into a conversation about the rivalry with the Freebirds and the Von Erichs. Uh, nothing new in the, in the conversation, just kind of recapping the Betrayal of Michael Hayes, the country whipping match, and various other things. Uh, this is probably the last, it would have to be, uh, the last promo uh, with David as he passes away. Uh, probably bef right after this was taped, I would think. Uh, David Von Erich in your main event, too. And then uh, the the announcement of his passing Post this match, this is the last American television match of David Von Erich as he faces Terry Gordy, and he passed away at a mere 25 years old in Japan. Uh, some people say heart attack, other people say drug overdose, other people say ruptured intestine. Uh, all these years later, what, uh, 30, let's see, 84, and, you know, 36, 37 years later, Still debate over the passing of David and the fact that many people feel David Von Erich would have been the NWA champion and not Kerry had he survived. He, there is also talk that he may have been a touring champion where Kerry only had the belt for a few days and didn't really tour. Um, interference from the Freebirds cuts this match really short. They only go for a couple of minutes, but um, the Freebirds... Von Erich feud not over even post uh, David's death and then the announcement obviously of the death and, and the fact that he passed away on a tour of Japan. Uh, fans are very sad and within about two or three weeks they do a complete tribute show which we will cover here. But uh, needless to say, the Freebirds and Von Erich's far from over as we enter uh, the midpoint of February in 1984 here in World Class. Keep your feet on the ground. Your mind in the moment. Till next time, everybody.